Good evening, and uh, thank you all for joining us at our second online Carmen event. What is uh, fast becoming the, the new way of operating. We're all living in a, in a virtual world now. Welcome to fellow Carmen uh, and our Carmen guests, and also to the masters and clerks of a number of other livery companies, many of whom I thank again for the generous hospitality I've received uh, before the doors were shut on our physical world. But a huge welcome to Haley and Curtis Bushel. They're not our guests. The Bushel family have been Carmen for three generations. Haley, can I ask you to introduce Curtis and his music, please? Hello, everyone, and I hope you're going to enjoy this special concert by Curtis. It, they're special selected pieces, which is a light. Uh, very light-hearted concert this evening and just to give you a quick I know you've got Curtis's CV as well he started his piano career at six years old achieving a first year of a university degree at nine and a full university degree at 11 where he's gone and played in numerous places and countries so it just gives you a quick brief outline of Curtis. Um, shall I hand over to you now and you can listen to the beautiful tones of the piano. Thanks very much, Hayley. We're very much looking forward to it. Hello, I'm Curtis, and I am about to play some amazing Chopin pieces. Please take a seat and come and join me. There you go.
Curtis, that was wonderful. Thank you so much for your recital, and um, particularly for offering your performance this evening to our virtual audience to encourage support for the renovation of our new home, Carmen Hall. We are now so very close to closing that financial gap on our building works, and hopefully to you out there, with your help and gener generosity, we're going to be able to realize our dream of moving into our own home. At the end of a, the next video, there's going to be a QR code. So for those of you familiar with this and uh, you have the technology, which is basically a mobile phone, set your phone to camera and wave it in front of the QR code at the end of the video. The video is an update to the progress of the renovations and also uh, to show some of the plans we have for the hall. So please now relax for a couple of minutes to watch the video and get ready with your phones at the end. Thank you. Well, I hope you're as excited as we are at the prospects for our future home. And of course, you're all more than welcome to come along. Um, we're now going to open it uh, up for a question and answer session to the virtual floor. So I look forward to getting lots of, uh, lots of questions. I've, I've got a couple um, to start with. Hayley, can you let us know what encouraged you to become a Carmen, please? I think, all those years ago, uh, my father recommended me um, and I was interested in things with the car and everything. So I think my father suggested I join the Carmen and that's how it all got started. So I joined when I was 21. Gosh, just a couple of years ago. Yes. <laughs> and are you pleased you joined? Yeah, of course I am. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, excellent. I've loved it ever since. Oh, good. And um, Curtis, you, you obviously really enjoy playing the piano and are, yeah. uh, you're, you're not bad. Um, Thank you. Have, you. have you had to make a choice between playing the piano and, for example, um, beer? Or have you been able to fit everything you've wanted to yes, do into been your very life? Hard. <laughs> uh, no, I've been able to fit everything in. One sec. I've been able to fit everything in and the piano hasn't gotten in the way of anything. I enjoy playing it. Yeah. and I have time to do anything I like. That's brilliant. So we've got a couple of questions in. Um, 
Curtis, what's your, what's your favorite choice of music? Oh, that is a good question. Uh, I like them all. The, I like the Chopin Attitude in E. That's a very nice piece. And I like the Tico Tico. Tico. You like Latin American as well. Mm. I've introduced yeah, but Latin I like American. Chopin the most. Yeah. It's nice and it's smooth and peaceful. And fast. Yes. Very good. Very, a little very bit of un, unrequited love, I believe, uh, poor old Chopin. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning a new Chopin piece. Uh, it's really quick. It's called The Revolutionary. Yeah. It's really quick. So I like it. So uh, another one here. Have you ever been tempted to slip the odd few notes in uh, during a performance to see if anyone spots them? Uh, during a performance? No, not usually. Sometimes I uh, pause a bit longer to see if anyone notices or just for fun. Uh, yeah. But at home, I always slip in a few notes and I mess around with the pieces. And, oh, it's, okay. and it is noticeable. Yes, it yeah. does, definitely. Sometimes I go into the Jaws theme tune in it. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, in the middle of a piece. Um, there was a, an eagle eyed person in the audience spotted that you were playing a Yamaha piano. Yes. Is that the best piano? Or what, would, what uh, other make would you like to play? Hmm. Uh, I like Yamaha. It's very nice. They have keyboards as well. We have a few of their keyboards. Mm. And we have another Yamaha in the other room. It's an upright piano, but this is the main one in the house. And what's the other? But do I want it's to play It's got a brighter another? sound. That's why yeah. you like it. It suits the music. It does. Yeah, Steinway. But there's, yeah, Steinway's the other one. That's also a nice one. But the Yamaha a... is a lot brighter, but the Steinway has a lot more bass. Yeah. Do you have a Steinway at home? Nope. Oh, right. Is that something that you'd like to uh, you'd like to get hold of? Uh, we have no room, but well, one day <laughs> it may be nice. One day yeah. it's great. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Um, another question from the floor: How much practice do you have to do each day? Each day. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, sometimes it's an hour. Sometimes it's not much. Uh, sometimes an hour. Sometimes half an hour. I used to play around two hours a day, but now it's around an hour. And I do play every day because I have time and we are in quarantine. So I don't have any other excuses to do yeah. anything else. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, so do you have a favorite modern band group? Modern band group. Band uh, or like group. What? Take That or The Rolling Stones. Well, they're oh. very modern. They're modern no, when they're I was modern. your age, but there we go. The Beatles are nice. I don't know a lot of, I know a lot of modern singers and groups. No, I know a lot of modern singers and modern artists, but not any groups. Right. One so Direction can... is one, but I don't, they're not one of my favorites. No. Have you ever been to a, uh, a concert, a, a pop concert? Have I? No, I don't think I have. I don't think you have. I don't there think I go. have. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> if anyone yeah. wants to get me tickets, they can. <laughs> But well, I, I, I know someone that's friendly with Ariana Grande. Maybe we can get you. Uh, maybe we can get you a seat at her her next. Oh, uh, that friend. would be great. Yeah. Um, what type of music do you like to listen to? Listen to. Mm. Uh, well, I like to Disney music. Yeah, uh, to relax. I don't listen to music to relax, but I like Disney music. That's very nice. Uh, that's my favorite. I don't listen to a lot of classical music. I do sometimes to help concentrate because it's very good for concentration. And that is scientifically proven, but I prefer Disney music. Oh, very good, very good. Thank you. Um, what's been the most challenging piece of music that you've had to play? Good question. I think, well, the new revolutionary is one, but there was once a really, oh, there's been a few really long pieces I've had to play. There was once a concerto, but uh, that was quite easy. What would you say? The hardest piece. Hmm. I played so many, I forgot. I didn't maybe the Beethoven sonata. Yeah. You like playing fast. There was a Beethoven sonata I once did. It was Beethoven. really long and it was hard. Yes. And I did it off by heart, so that made that was... it harder. That was uh, that was going to be one of my questions. Do you have a do you have a secret copy to, copy of the music anywhere, so that nope. just in case you're going through, you miss out. No, it's all all in no. your head. Yeah, it's all in my head. Either I play with the music or completely without. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's excellent. And a question for Hayley. Um, is he a demanding person? During practice? <laughs> well, they didn't specify, actually. Oh, they didn't specify. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but, uh, but during practice, when we're concentrating on pieces, if he suddenly goes into Jaws or into <laughs> other pieces of music whilst we're trying to concentrate on something, that's difficult. I might sometimes end a piece in, uh, in the middle of it, or I might sometimes just not play the final note to yes, annoy it's, everyone. Yes, it's, it's annoying. You know, it's like the last note of a whole piece. You've gone through a whole so, piece. So you've done five pages and you just leave one note out to the end. So it's you don't a finish final it. note. So it's like ah. the ending of a book. So you leave off mm. the ending of a book. It's, 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 it's very annoying, annoying. So it very nice. Annoying. Yeah, yeah, so it's very nice for me. <laughs> Nice for you, and I'm sure the uh, yes. the, the audience would uh, smile along. Yeah, no, I'm sure they'll smile along. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are your other hobbies? Um, I'm assuming that you have to look after your hands. No, not really. I do ice skating. Mm -hmm. uh, ice skating is fun. I haven't been for a while now because I, we, I haven't actually left the house in around three months now. I haven't Gosh. even gone outside. <laughs> but... <laughs> but I, ice skating was one of them. I used to do jumps and I started skating with my sister. Now I've gone back to jumps mm. and they're, they're dangerous, but I enjoy it. I also have a show I do, a podcast I do called Listen, Listen, Listen. Yeah. And that I have a new episode out tomorrow. Very good. We'll accept the plug. Good. <laughs> We'll see it running along the bottom of your screen soon. Yeah, see I'm it running sure. any second. Yeah, yeah, oh, brilliant. Um, what's been the largest audience that you have played to, and uh, where was that? Uh, good question. I once did a Nickelodeon uh, Fruit Shoot Skills Award. I think that was around a thousand. I once played in Valencia in Spain, and that was around two thousand people. Two thousand. Gosh, gosh. Yeah. Do you think that piano is going to be with you for the rest of your life or can you see you're branching off into completely a non-music related interest or a different instrument? Uh, good question. Good question. Uh, so, well, the piano will always be with me. I've learned a lot over the years and it's always up here. And if I ever have to play pieces, I know them. But whether it's with me, and I carry on playing it every single day. I'm not sure, but I always have it and I always know the pieces and I'm always happy to play it. What about uh, joining a band as the keyboard player? Good question. Uh, no, I don't think that's my type of thing. If it, I don't know, I like to be the main thing, if the main attraction. Uh, if it's a keyboard player, that's sort of to the side. I, I don't mind doing it and trying it. But I once did an audition for School of Rock and I, it was to be the keyboard player on the side. And I enjoyed that. It was rock pieces. So I didn't, don't mind something like that. There you go. But yeah, so that was in a pop rock group. But no, I prefer mm. to do it on my own. Do you play any other instruments? I once tried to play the bassoon, but then I, it hurt my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, how did you find your time at uh, university? You were very young compared with the other students. Oh, I, I didn't go to university. I did. I did. I didn't have to go. I did a diploma. So I oh, learned right. all the. P yeah. So I did. I think it's the equivalent of something like that. Mm. Uh, it's the equivalent of a, of a full degree. Yes. Uh, you didn't have to go. You just I have to, uh, to go. I just learned the pieces. It's an exam. I learned the pieces. I learned. Uh, I write notes about the pieces and then I just hand it into the examiner and then they mark it. Oh, right. Yeah. What was and then your... you perform. You perform. Yeah, I have well. to perform it. What was your best experience going through that process? Or your worst? The worst oh. is the actual exam. I hated yeah, it. of course. Yeah. Yes, I think we all, we're all with yeah. you on that. Uh, but I like learning the pieces. Uh, the lessons are fun. Yeah, it's not much to say about that. I enjoyed, I enjoyed leading up to the exam, but not the actual exam. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, can, I can understand that. Um, who is your greatest inspiration? Hmm, greatest inspiration. There's a lot. Hmm, and 
or who and, is who well, is your greatest influencer greatest influence well other Lang, than Lang. your mum of course because yeah, she's sitting next course. to you probably with yes. a wooden spoon so <laughs> yes right there <laughs> so lang lang uh is very good uh i like the emotion he puts into it uh let's see there's there's a lot of pianists out there some a lot of the ones i know are dead a lot oh. of the ones i know are dead suspect you know like chopin and mozart they're dead but uh they it's with mozart it's amazing he uh wrote a lot as a young age yes. so he is an inspiration yeah there's a there's a good question do you do much writing yourself do i do much writing myself mm -hmm. uh do you, what do you mean uh, and, writing music oh, writing, writing music yeah okay, sorry uh yeah writing music no i don't i once tried uh no i cannot write myself sometimes mm. uh when I'm in the middle of playing a piece, I'll improvise. I'll improvise in the middle of a piece sometimes and it'll go crazy. And I can improvise in the middle of a piece and make it up as I go along. And sometimes if I make a mistake in the performance, I'll somehow pick it up. But I cannot write from scratch because it's usually in my head from a complete another song. Yes. Yeah, yeah so I think I'm making something up, but it turns out it's, an, it's another song. Oh, you don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, running, no. run into copyright and that, that yeah, gets and then I'll get sued. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> um, well, Curtis, I, I am sure that everyone will agree. I certainly enjoyed it. It was a really unique event, uh, unique in a number of ways. It was virtual. Yeah. It was a performance of of your rare gift, which we which we really enjoyed, and we're hugely hugely privileged as Carmen. Um, to have such young and gifted members and also uh, that they're, they're happy to, to share those skills with us for others to enjoy. Um, we as a company do recognize our, uh, our younger members because um, they're, they're the future and um, particularly outstanding talents like Curtis. Thank you. Um, to the audience, thank you all for attending and to thank the- you. And thanks for the questions. Yeah, uh, and to the recital production team on the virtual backstage who have uh, put this together and especially in anticipation to those of you who fulfill Curtis's intention with this evening's recital and are able to uh, make a small gift for our hall. But uh, most of all, again, thank you, Curtis, a joy to hear and to have as a Carmen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, thank you.